Hello, country people. How are you doing? The latest argument in town is who is better between Bola Tinubu and P2B in terms of their performances as state governors? And that will help us to uh, make our choice on who will lead Nigeria. Uh, well, I have made attempts to look at this debate. Um, the said former governors who are now presidential aspirants uh, ruled Lagos and Anambra states which are almost of the same size by uh, landmass. Uh, they are the two smallest states in Nigeria and two most commercial sites of their various regions. Uh, but in looking at this, we need to consider certain things. Lagos was a Nigerian capital for many years. And federal government invested a lot, like the government is doing with um, Abu Janam. And Lagos has since developed. Um, not be today. In fact, I would like to share an idea which aligns properly with what I believe. I don't know who put forward this uh, material, but I am sure it's made sense so much. Now, this is Lagos State when Tinubu was still a boy. You know, I don't understand why some Tinubu's apologists will claim that Tinubu made Lagos what it is today and compare Anambra State, a state that was uh, created in 1991, to Lagos State, a state that has uh, was Nigeria's capital. Till General Ibrahim Abangida decided to move the Nigeria's capital to North Central area called Abuja uh, due to incessant military coups. Uh, that uh, fabric and unity of the country and also uh, to decongest um, the state which happens to be the smallest state in Nigeria by landmass. I see many of them trying to compare Lagos State that has been in existence since 1960 which has the headquarters of many local and foreign companies uh, that uh, Cuts out the billions of naira annually to Lagos State uh, government uh, to Anambra that just uh, began her journey to statehood uh, three decades ago. They claim that Tinubu was the one that developed Lagos, and I stand to ask them who is the father of modern day Lagos. Latif Kayode, Jakande, or Asiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, who? The truth is that Lagos State, uh, with a current system that was made available by different military governments, uh, which happens to be uh, their board, anybody can run the state because the state has been former capital of Nigeria. It's like um, a country on its own. Lagos State before Tinubu has all the components that makes it a, a makes it a nation, regardless of its small size, in terms of its landmass. There are several countries in Europe that is even smaller than Lagos. Another thing I want to ask Tinubu apologists is what is the allocation? What's the allocation of Anambra State? But P2B was able to do a lot with the little he met on ground and still save a huge amount of money in local and foreign currencies for his predecessor, which his predecessor admitted that he used the money to be saved to build the airport in Anambra State. Believe me, if Peter B was able to lay his hand on the allocation of Lagos State as governor of Anambra State, he would have turned Anambra into a wonderland. It is not what you see in Lagos. With such money that comes to Lagos, Peter B will outdo everyone else. Dredge River Niger allow the port to operate freely like Lagos port and um, open up um, the uh, One and um, Calaba port. Anambra State will not be more, uh, less developed than Lagos. So what we're talking about here is good leadership. Good leadership. So if you want to compare any time, there are certain things you have to look at. You're not just saying Tinubu out, uh, he did well. No. What does this person have as at that time and what does this person have? As far as I know, 
Lagos has since developed as a Nigerian capital. Before the coming of Tinubu or anybody, Lagos is not an ambrass mate. They didn't start uh, the race at the same time. Anambra State as a whole before comprises of Anambra and Enugu. And most of everything, the developments went to Enugu when the state was divided. We started afresh. Oka was almost bushy. Then they, we started afresh. But Lagos has had several huge federal government investments. Anyway, this is where we round up on this particular one. We are coming back on our next show. I am Azoka Uzo OJ. Please add your comments on the comment section. Tell us what you think respectfully. Bye-bye for now.